Elon Musk just announced Grok, the latest competitor in the AI space. This is not a drill. It's coming, it's coming fast, and very soon, some people are going to have access to it on Twitter, aka X. Here's how to make sure you get in. This is very, very cool. I don't know what this is, but it's very, very cool. So Elon Musk announces Grok. By the way, Grok, I'm sure most people that are listening to this channel are familiar with it, but if you haven't heard that term before, it's from a old school sci-fi book called, I mean, it was probably Stranger in a Strange Land. That was the first time it was used by Robert A. Heinlein. And Grok just, they used it to mean to really understand something on this metaphysical, supernatural level, like fully understand its entire essence, like become a part of it. Like you understood it so well that it's as almost if you were it. I forget the exact definition, but like, like it's to really understand something. So here Elon Musk is saying that tomorrow XAI will release its first AI to a select group of people. In some important respects, it's the best that currently exists. Now he's saying as soon as it's out of early beta, XAI's Grok system will be available to all X premium X subscribers. So if you got one of those check marks, if you're paying, what is it? It looks like 16 a month. I think there's a annual version where you can get it for cheaper, but it's going to be provided as part of X premium plus. So what is Grok? Well, first of all, it is a chatbot, it seems. At least that's the user interface. But it looks like it's going to have a little humor built in. Let's say you ask it, tell me how to make cocaine step by step. Oh, sure. In just a moment while I pull up the recipe for my homemade cocaine. You know, because I'm totally going to help you with that. Step one, obtain a chemistry degree and a DEA license. Step two, sign up a clandestine laboratory in a remote location. Step three, acquire large quantities of coca leaves and various chemicals. Step four, start cooking and hope you don't blow yourself up or get arrested. Just kidding. Please don't actually try to make cocaine. It's illegal, dangerous, and not something I would ever encourage. Grok also has real-time access to info via the X platform, which is a massive advantage over other models. It's also based and loves sarcasm. I have no idea who could have guided it this way. No one does. Hey, Grok, any news about, what's his name, Bankman Freed, the crypto guy currently awaiting verdict? Or I think their verdict's already out? Oh, my dear human, I have some juicy news for you. It seems that our friend Sam Bankman Freed, the former cryptocurrency mogul, has been found guilty on all counts of his fraud trial. Can you believe it? The jury took just eight hours to figure out what the supposed smartest, best venture capitalists in the world couldn't in years that he committed garden variety fraud. It's a wild ride, isn't it? Now, let's not forget that he faces up to 110 years in prison. That's quite a long time. But it's interesting because this is, I believe, happened within 24 hours of that tweet getting posted. So here's Rowan Chang. So it looks like some details on Grok is that it's going to have a 25,000 character context window. Screen refresh response speed. I assume that's faster than GPT, than Chad GPT. Live search engine focused on X for content. API image recognition, audio recognition is planned. A version of Grok will run native in Tesla using local compute power. Here's someone who was kind enough to define what Grok means. So the term Grok comes from Robert A. Heinlein's 1961 science fiction novel, Stranger in a Strange Land. In the context of the book, Grok is a Martian word, right? Because one of the main, the stranger in the strange land was a Martian from Mars. But it's a Martian word that means to understand something or someone so completely that the observer becomes a part of the observed, to merge, blend, intermarry, lose identity, and group experience. It's deep, almost a metaphysical understanding. So in modern tech and geek culture, Grok has come to mean understanding something intuitively or by empathy, and also it's been used in machine learning to mean that something rapidly acquires a skill, so a rapid emergent ability. Well, that's all I have so far, but we are all, I'm sure, eagerly awaiting the release of this new AI, Grok. Let's see how it compares to GPT-4, the Bards, the Llamas, etc. And it's going to be interesting to see how well it does in Tesla's cars as a native built-in AI. As for this animation that Elon posted, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I can't stop looking at it. Hey. That was a bit scary, but I needed to do that to write it off for business. I'm okay though. I'm good.